The following program is a production of Pioneer Public Television. In this episode of Grassland Jam, more music from Evan Kinney and his Dixieland Squirrel Skinners. And the Tony Rook Band. Everywhere. It's another Appalachian morning calling me from there. Grassland Jam brings you the best of the main stage of the Minnesota Bluegrass and Old Time Music Festival at El Rancho Manana near Richmond, Minnesota. Grassland Jam is supported by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund with money from the vote of the people of Minnesota and by the members of Pioneer Public Television. And now on the main stage, Evan Kinney and his Dixieland Squirrel Skinners. Okay. 
from the Carter family, but it's been done by a lot of people. I know it's creeped into the bluegrass standard, so you'll probably recognize it. Weeping Willow, or Bury Me Under the Weeping Willow. Yeah. 
City music here. Mm -hmm. City music. There's a little <laughs> tune called Down in Atlanta, Georgia. That's about Atlanta, Georgia, and, and being down there. That's right. Atlanta. How many people? Yeah. <laughs> How many people are from Atlanta here? <laughs> Anyways. All right. You want to start us off there, Ali, on that? About girls and food, and then a man broke in and said, now "Give me all your money, or you're gonna be dead down in Atlanta, Georgia, down in Atlanta, Georgia." If you don't get me, you shall get beat down in Atlanta, Georgia. Well, I bought a cow from Farmer Joe. She was nothing but skin and bones. Joe said, now that he wanted more, well, I pulled out my pockets and he took me out the door down in Atlanta, Georgia, down in Atlanta, Georgia, if you don't get me, you'll shall get me down in Atlanta, Georgia. Next, on the main stage, Tony Rook Band. A train, I can hear you so good. I'll be jumping on again. A train, I'll be living where you go. I know, life beyond each bend. A train, he's trying to pass your older than the last in it seen. I'm too old for running. I hear rusty wheels grate against the rail. They crowd every mile. And I think I'll stay a while.
like to do a tune I uh, wrote as kind of a tribute to my father. Uh, I think we're going to put it on CD here in the in the fall. We're planning to go into the studio and do the studio and do a, do a uh, recording. So, kick it off. Second child of three more to come. As his young boy grew older, he had to help his daddy. Chores around the home until they're done. Ten years brought a way of life that nearly had them broken. It was the worst this town had ever seen. But love and family by their side, they managed to push us through it. Love was strong as it had ever great time up here. Um, this next tune I released on the CD back uh, in spring of two 2016. Uh, I was down at Merlefest in North Carolina and I just happened to be sitting in a vendor tent picking a fiddle tune and Doc Watson walks in and sits down in the booth across from me and he he's over there talking. He gets up and he starts to walk off. His Aids pulling him along, and and he pulls back and wants to stop him. So he's sitting there listening to me to play this fiddle tune. I think it was Daly's Reel or something. And uh, I got got done, and he goes, "That was some mighty fine picking, boy." And uh, that was just a uh, extremely special day for me. And so I wrote this tune uh, called Appalachian Springtime. <laughs> Best in 
it's ever been. It's Appalachian springtime and there's music in the air. Heading down to Caroline, I hope to see you there. Bloom of wild azalea, smell of country everywhere. It's another Appalachian morning calling me from there. Grassland Jam is supported by the Minnesota Arts and Cultural Heritage Fund with money from the vote of the people of Minnesota and by the members of Pioneer Public Television.